Good morning, small groups. This is for the week of December 27th. So today we looked at the story of Simeon and Anna, and that comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 21 through 40. So you're invited to reread that as we're reminded what happened within about eight days of Jesus being born. So we're reminded that that Jesus was not born to a family of nobility. In fact, they gave what was allowed for someone who did not have much money. Uh, so they were allowed to sacrifice the two turtle doves or pigeons, and they did the two turtle doves. So we're reminded that Jesus was not born in the, the palace. He was instead born to a family that was closer to poverty than they were to wealth. We're also reminded of what the temple would have been like. Right, I likened it to DMV, but maybe you've traveled to another country and been able to visit a, a, um, a cathedral or another type of place where a lot of people gather. And so you know what it's like when there's just so much activity going on. You've got tourists, you've got worshipers, you've got people in to look at the artwork. You know, it's just a lot of activity. And so that's what I imagine the temple looked like. But it was in that chaos that Simeon, Simeon and Anna knew exactly who Jesus was. They knew that Jesus was special. They knew that this baby in its money, mother's arms uh, to be circumcised was someone so special. And again, different than any other baby who entered. And so they knew this only because of the Holy Spirit, because Jesus looked like all the other infants there that day. Um, Jesus looked like any other infant. But yet Simeon and Anna knew that he was so special. So how can we be like Simeon and Anna? Because they are attuned to the Holy Spirit. They know how God is at work. How can we be the people who shed light on where God is at work and tell others? We go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Because maybe at times we're like Mary or what I imagine Mary to be like in need of that extra assurance that God is still at work. Again, she took some huge risks and I'm sure there were moments of doubt of thinking, okay, God, um, how are you going to help me through this? And yet God kept showing up and putting the right people in the right place to remind her. So how can we be those people like Simeon and Anna to reassure the Marys when we have, and when other people have the experience of Mary of maybe doubting and needing that reassurance? Or maybe Mary didn't, but again, imagining what Mary might feel like. How can we be those people who just praise God and point out how God is at work? All right, friends, I hope you have a wonderful week and a happy new year, and I'll see you next year.